We're going to start with Mike Reese. Go ahead, Mike. Hey, Jarrett, how are you? I'm good, Mike. How are you? All right. Great, great to see you, as always. Um, how would you describe this offseason for you relative to how it began uh, with Tom Brady departing as a free agent and ultimately Cam coming in a, to join you as a teammate? Yeah, I mean, it's, I mean, for a lot of reasons, obviously, with everything going on in the world right now, it's, you know, it's an off season that's kind of been different, I would say, and, you know, unexpected, um, you know, from going after the, right after the season, you know, starting to train and everything. And then, you know, Tom obviously decided to go to Tampa and, um, you know, then we signed, you know, signing Cam and everything. So it's just kind of a wild off season, but um, I would say, you know, my, my routine hasn't changed at all. Um, my work ethic has kind of been the same, you know, throughout throughout everything that's going on. So I've just really tried to, you know, focus on, you know, being a good teammate and working as hard as I possibly can to, uh, to you know, really improve this off season and improve them. It's uh, it's been a wild ride, you know, this off season, but. You know, just, uh, you know, happy to be back in the building with everybody and, you know, kind of get rolling here. Next question, Phil Perry, followed by Bob Sosi. Hey, Jared, how's it going, man? I'm good. How are you? Good. You, you mentioned uh, it's been a wild ride. How are you approaching the here and now in the next coming weeks when you guys are able to sort of dial it up in terms of, the competition aspect of things. Do you view, even with Cam, who obviously has had a great career, but do you view yourself as having the ability to start this season, depending on how you perform this summer? Absolutely. I mean, I think I'm, I'm definitely ready. You know, I, I think I've, you know, I put in a lot of work this off season to really improve uh, mentally, physically, you know, in a, in a lot of different areas, but you know, at the end of the day, you know, I'm, I'm extremely excited to compete with, with Cam and Hoy, uh, you know, as we go forward in training camp and get into the season and things like that. So um, I'm really looking forward to the competition. I love competing in whatever it is. Um, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. Next question, Bob Sosi, followed by Matt Vitor. Thanks, Stacey, and uh, thanks, Jared, for the time. Uh, good to see you again. You had the relationship with Brian going back to last year, and from what I understand, Cam had spoken to the team at Auburn while you were there. At least there was some experience around him. How would you describe what it's like now in that quarterback room and the working relationship the three of you have in these early days of camp? It, it's been really great. Like, like you said, um, you know, I had a previous relationship with, with Hoy just because of last year and you know, getting to know him. So I, I've known him, obviously, for and then with Cam, you know, he, like you said, he came down to Auburn. I want to say it was my last spring there. And uh, him and I actually went to lunch after practice one day, you know, got to rap, you know, that sort of thing. Just talk about, you know, Auburn football and, you know, kind of his experience and stuff. So I, you know, I had a relationship with him. You know, ultimately all of us together, I mean, it's a, it's a really great room. A boy who has a ton of experience, you know, at a lot of different places, and you know, a lot here. And Cam, who is, you know, MVP, you know, played in the Super Bowl, um, a great player in himself. So uh, it, it's a it's a great room to have a lot of experience, and you know, I'm just excited to get to you know learn with these guys and uh, compete against. Thanks, Garrett. Uh, next question, Matt Vitour, followed by Mark Daniels. Jarrett, where were you when uh, when you heard about the Cam signing, and and uh, what was your reaction to it initially? Yeah, no, I was uh, I was actually back in Texas uh, visiting some family uh, when everything happened. But I honestly, I was excited. I you know was you know what a great opportunity to, to compete again, you know compete with a with another great player, um, you know compete with with Hoy and Cam. So. Um, you know, I was, I was actually really, really excited for the opportunity ahead. Uh, you remember where that lunch was in Auburn? Time? I'm sorry? Did you remember where that lunch was at Auburn? You said you went to lunch. Do you remember where it was? Oh, gosh. Like the place? Um, I want to say it was a restaurant called The Acre, maybe? I think that's where we went. 
Mark Daniels, followed by Doug Kine. Hey, Jared, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, thanks. Uh, Jared, how much would you say that you were able to learn from Tom Brady last year during your, your rookie season? And, you know, what's what's the thought process like with having the potential to replace, you know, one of the greatest players of all time? No, I, I you know, I consider Tom a, a really good friend at this point and, you know, obviously got to learn a ton from him, you know, throughout the entire year last year, just, you know, how he prepares, you know, how he, you know, just gets ready for each and every week, um, you know, how he leads and how he pushes his teammates every week. Um, so there, there was so much to, you know, I can't just say one thing. There was a lot to take away from, from being around him, you know, every single day. You know, I, I, and I don't really look at it as, you know, replacing Tom Brady. You know, I'm not, I, I just want to be myself and I want to be, you know, a, a leader for this team and, you know, be the best teammate that I can be for this team. So um, I don't really, I don't really look at it like that. Thank you. Uh, next question, Doug Kide, followed by Yanni Karakas. Hey, Jared. Hope you're doing well. Um, obviously, it was a slightly different situation last year with Tom, but does the fact that you were working with Tom and, and in a sense, competing with him, does that make it easier this offseason competing with a quarterback of Cam Newton's caliber? Well, I mean, I think, you know, r regardless of who it is for me, I, I think I'm going to compete every single day at the, at the highest level and try and be the best teammate that I can possibly be. Um, you know, I think as many people, whatever room it is, as many, if you have a lot of good players in a room, it's just going to continue to excel everybody, push everybody, and, you know, really bring out the, the competitive juices that everybody has. Thank you. Uh, Yanni Karakas, followed by Ian Steele. Hey, Jack, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, good, good. Um, with Tom's departure and you and Hoyer and Cam there now, do you anticipate the system sort of being what it is, or will there be certain packages, plays, or, or things Josh caters the offense to, depending on who is quarterbacking that specific play once you guys really get going? Well, I think, I think right now, you know, we, we have our foundation of our offense, and Josh has been doing this here for, for a really long time. And, you know, I think right now we're just taking it, you know, day to day, one day at a time, and really focusing on fundamentals and making sure, you know, our foundation is, is where it needs to be. So we're just kind of taking things one day at a time. Yeah. Sure. Um, I'm gonna Next question, Ian Steele, um, yeah. followed by Mike Giardi. Uh, Take the beach. Is there anything that you want me to bring? Down? Thanks, Stacy, Jared. Thank you for the time. Really appreciate it. Uh, I'm curious. Was there ever a point this off season where you know you maybe had a different level of confidence that you know you may come in huh? and be the starting quarterback of the New England Patriots? And did that change at all after Cam Newton signing? No, I, I think I've approached this off season kind of the same from you know, January up until, you know, right now, as I'm sitting here talking to you guys, um, you know, I, I do feel a lot more confident, you know, having a year under my belt, a year in the system, um, just kind of being more of a professional in general and kind of, you know, understanding how we do things here um, within the organization, you know, just I've approached, you know, the off season that way the entire time. Um, and that's, you know, my big thing is I just want to continue to, you know, be a leader, leader on this team and be the best teammate that I can be to, to the guys in the locker room. Uh, Mike Giardi, followed by Henry McKenna. Good to see you, Jared. I, I, I'm curious, can you kind of take us through maybe some of these um, quarterback organized offseason workouts where, you know, everybody's trying to be socially distanced? Just how, how did you go about that? And were you trying to call plays as if you would call them during the game? What, what was that like? Yeah, I mean, each day was a little bit different. Uh, you know, Hoy and I were were here, you know, on the East Coast. Um, so, you know, we just, you know, we weren't able to have OTAs, obviously. So we just said, hey, you know, if anybody's in town or wants to come into town, you know, let's just try and get together and, and be responsible about everything and, you know, try and get some good work in. Because, um, you know, going from January until training camp is a long time not to throw with guys you know, get, you know, timing and chemistry down with those guys. So um, that's just kind of how, kind of how we did it. And, 
you know, we were, you know, fortunate enough, fortunate enough to, you know, have some guys. Thank you. Henry McKenna, followed by Karen Garigian. Jared, uh, I know that sort of on that same note, uh, I know that uh, Julian Edelman was a part of those workouts, and I wondered how your friendship with him has evolved sort of since the departure of Tom Brady. Uh, Tom and Edelman were obviously, and probably are still, really good friends, but um, you know, what's what's your rapport been like in the transition without, without Tom? It's, it's, it's been really good. You know, Jules is, uh, Jules is a great guy, a great player, obviously, and you know, has a lot of experience. So um, being able to talk to him about, you know, things that, you know, maybe, you know, he's seen throughout the years with, with quarterbacks or, you know, just, you know, his position, his position. Um, it's, it's been really great. So just really trying to, you know, continue to build that relationship, uh, you know, and also build relationships with, you know, all the other teammates that are in the locker room and just trying to, you know, continue to, to build those as, as much as we can. Next question, Karen Garigian. Hi, Jared. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good, thanks. Um, you've had uh, over a year now in the system, in the offense, learning the playbook. I was just wondering what your comfort level was with it, and is it uh, like calculus, as Julian Edelman uh, describes? Uh, I don't know if it's, you know, algebra calculus or, you know, anything like that. Um, it, you know, it's obvious, like when I came in last year, um, it was very foreign to me. You know, I didn't, I didn't really, uh, you know, know a ton, but, um, you know, just really grinded, you know, throughout, you know, last off season and then coming into the, into the season last year and then really into this off season. Um, I've seen a, a big growth, um, you know, certainly, but, you know, I also, there's always room to grow, always room to learn. So, you know, I'm eager to continue you know, talking with, you know, the other quarterbacks and, you know, Coach Fish and, and, and Josh McDaniels and all these guys just to continue to learn as much football and as much about the system as I can. Mike, you, you and Brian helped Cam with his crash course and trying to learn, uh, learn the playbook? Oh, absolutely. No, we're all, we're all in that room together and we're all there to help each other. That's what it's all about. Thank you. And I think this will be the last question. Cole Johnson. Hey, Jerry, how are we doing today? Good, Cole. How are you? Good. Um, so real quickly, uh, you talked about the relationship you have with Cam, you know, coming from Auburn. Um, how much is that going to elevate your guys' game, just being in that same room together on the field together, along with having a veteran guy and Brian Hoyer to help, you know, lead the way a little bit? Yeah, no, like I said earlier, you know, it's really good because, you know, Hoy has been in the league a really long time, you know, been some different places, been here, you know, quite a bit. And, you know, Cam in Carolina and having a ton of experience there and, you know, winning an MVP and going to the Super Bowl and all these things, um, you know, it makes for a really dynamic room. And, you know, everybody, you know, has unique experiences, unique perspectives. So, um, you know, I, I'm just really excited to, continue to learn from, you know, both of them and, and to compete with both of them. Jared, thank you very much. Thanks everyone for participating Thanks. today.